Wait lang. So, dahil kasi kapapon, uh, inasip, inayos namin yung mga lang kasi may mga questions na pawan. Tapos, uh, nagkaroon ng Alger 2015, it's like, 
it, ano, dumating yung point na ito na talaga na doon i-apply talaga lahat na natutunan ko from before and uh, it turns out really well and uh, ayun, salamat sa mga nag sa mga nagturo sa akin din doon. Na party kayo doon, ay hindi yung mga classmates ko. And uh, right now, I believe na lahat, sa lahat ng pinagdaan ako sa buhay din, uh, pers mga personal man yan, I believe na lahat ng yun, kaya, ano, uh, dahil talagang pasang ko sila lahat, kaya kaya ko rin lalpasan lahat ng challenges that will face me as a, as a chair person once you elect. Maraming salamat. Okay, for the next question, for the incumbent, so that we can begin to be at the end. Okay. Ano ang mga nagawa nyo during your time as an elected official? So, as an elected official, I will, at first, parang ginagay na din ako, doon na lang magtatabi sa mga 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 inutan, gagawin ko. But then, at... Ushers, ako yung nag-headlord, and then, mga, yung inuubos, hindi ako sa inuubos at it, sinasabihan din na, ano, kasi kasi yun yung mga, yung mga other delegates, and then, inaasikan ko pa rin yung mga, yung mga ushers around the area, and then, other one is, yung dati yung parade, ito, ako yung inasign nila doon, and then, pero, syempre, tinutunong pa rin kami doon sa mga pinagdang prowa. Okay, ladies. So uh, this year I am the incumbent SD. So di talaga siya ano. Di talaga siya voting for the SD, but still it's a position that I'm still. Para sa yung man. So during my time, ano? Sorry kung pao yung tulad ng point nato, pero ano pa ba yung area? Yung I experience working side by side with them. So I I've experienced working side by side with the ano incumbent ano as an ISSC and I talk talaga nga kung ano ganon kaya nila yung ano trabaho nila yung sleepless nights yung two hours of eight and ten hours na conference. So tulad talaga sa ano sa tumulong ako to make it the success that it is. Even though I may have made like what five percent a very small percent of the job. And of course, during meetings and during important events, I make sure that the shifts and transfers of the set was represented properly. So if we have a problem, we have a concern that if we have a schedule, we have to make a bit, I make sure that the SC is well informed. Okay, so that was the next question. Okay, so that was the next question. What are the pressing concerns of SNI students and what do you plan to do regarding them? So what do you be asking? What are the pressing concerns of SNI students and what do you plan to do regarding them? So pressing concerns of SNI So I find three issues. I think there's three issues that we should address. Number one, there should be integration within the community. We need to be cohesive kasi, kasi let's be honest, in a percent of the population yung pangasa dito yung dapat, for example, we need cohesion. Kailangan, kailangan tayo mag-unite as a college before we show our face to the world dito. Bagi tayo mag community-based stand making, kailangan mo na united tayo sa monthly general assemblies. So how do we, how do we plan out this? this? Of course, as I said, the monthly general assemblies. Kukulitin namin kayo, kukulitin namin kayo, mag-participate kayo, pumunta kayo. Because, pag-inulit namin kayo, and we get a positive response. That's where conversations start. And when your conversations start, it becomes more frequent. And when that conversation is frequent, finally integrated na yung community namin. So that's step one, when we're fixed. So, step two naman, ang next natin problem. Of course, 
mahirap din yung environment dito. Maraming tumatagal ng more than the recommended of the whole period, di ba? Let's say, six, seven years, plus, 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 hindi ko na sasabihin ko. Kung gawin ka yun lang, pero that's an issue we need to address. And as a student counselor, we need we need to do something about that. So that's why we have undergraduate research summit. We have help with thesis. We want to do everything that we can to provide the help for you to graduate. And it's not just that. Perhaps we can have a project for tutoring regarding NIS subjects. If you need help with the 160 series, for example. Those are all projects that we want to enact so that we can ensure that people here can graduate kind in the old time, in the least possible amount of time that they need. So, yung third problem natin sa SLIS is medyo mahina yung population natin. Mahina yung population natin. Tapos, with the, with the K-12 change, bumababa pa yan. Kasi ilang years tayo walang freshman entry and siguro konting shifties and transferies na. So, what, we, what do we want to do with that kind of problem? We want to do promotions. We want we want to promote the college to outside to outsiders. Because we have LIS export, for example. Give a tour of the library. Because we want to give it to the outside. This is a profession worth choosing, and not just and not just a profession worth choosing when it comes to the nobility of the job and how important it is to society. But it is indeed a field that can still be developed, where you have a lot of potential where you have a lot of things that you can achieve and do because it's such an unexplored field. So to address that third issue, we need to promote the college in community-based time making, LIS export, and other projects which show to the outside world that SLIS is like this. It's a cohesive community that has a lot of potential and we want you to be a part of it. So those are the issues and those are our, our answers to those issues. What is our standard SES and GP reduction? What we need now for you is not the issue. Thank you. Hmm, you can see the video. 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 Okay, our SES and GP reduction. Or GP. Or GP. Or GP. Or GP. Oh, yeah, that means it. Okay, we can choose the SES. First of all, I think SES is a big joke. So, of course, ano, whether or not, whether or not or someone, has, someone has to pay for our tuition. So, ano, and I don't think that us directly paying for it is the way to go. So, we have, the government has plenty of money to fund our innovation. And my biggest gripe with SPS is that it's, it's a joke of a system. It can be, it can easily be fooled. And so, I'm not asking you to hold it, but it's easily pulled, so I don't really see the need for it anyway. I will choose G in the form because that is the topic of our debate earlier. So, <laughs> no research to tell you I was on the negative side, by the way. And in real life, I think I'm also on the negative side. Because I'll, I'll boil it down to the biggest flaw in the system. There was no inclusivity when it comes to the decision. We won't. Sasabihin ng administrators, we want, to, we want to implement GE reform. We want to reduce the units to 21 units. And, sino bang mga representative natin doon na student? Siguro may a-attend kayang student doon sa meeting, makikinig sila, but they don't really get a vote. And what vote do we get in the administration? We have the student region. Isa lang siya overall sa ang dami ano, sa ang dami administrators. So, with that flow, would you really say that the GE reform would address the problem of the students? Kung hindi nga na consult yung students in the first place. And in the first place, tayo ang biggest stakeholder dyan. We're not reform to please the administration or the professors, but to please the students in a way that we want to give you the best education you can have in the University of the Philippines. Because remember, the goal of the University of the Philippines first and foremost, is to provide good education and nothing else. If, if it's economic considerations, for example, that you want to address, kunyari, mas makakatulong sa parents na and it's really well. 
So, why the less yung gastos nila kasi 21 units lang yung meron sila. It's not the solution. We need to fix the fiscal we need to fix the fiscal system in the first place. Hindi mo ay compromise yung quality of education mo by reducing the general education just because of economic constraints. You should never compromise education. What you should always choose is to reform the system over reducing the number of general education units just so you can fulfill that economic constraint. So that is my stance on the issue. Okay, maraming salamat. So for the next question, we are giving it 3 seconds to one minute. 
because the answer is that there's only one person. For the SLI subscribe to the USC, it's not a point to learn because Okay.
the only way you can remove me from the like these guys pulled me out. So we got my shirts there. And of course, I really didn't have the responsibility. So when I get the company, I make sure to carry it out. Uh, I have no problem communicating to a company. Hi, next. Ilang beses na ba tayo na iwan ng mga minamahal na natin? Oo. Pero seriously, I think, uh, uh, katulad yung mga sinabi ng mga council mate, uh, so parang if ever, um, I think it's more of yung dedication to science sa uh, uh, profession as uh, council mates. So parang assurance na rin yun na gusto namin mga pagawa ang lahat para ma ma improve natin ang um, SLS community. So I think that's already existing. Sabi na nila yung mga assurance ng meron sila. Sa akin naman, ang assurance nyo yung sa org ko, yun, matagal na ako na matagal na rin ako na naging officer sa kamarang. Halos lagi nyo na ako na doon. And then sa mga friends ko rin, alam naman nila na kahit ano, minsan na-relate ako, nahihabol ko pa lagi. For me, I was just run for this position if I, I didn't believe that I could pull it off. If I can, if I can, I don't believe that I, I would really run for this position. Um, kung hindi ko talaga, kaya kung hindi ko hindi siya, hindi ko kaya. Okay, sila. Okay, salamat. Okay. Related to sa question na yun, um, tanong nila ay, what do you think we'll make up with in the house and what's elected? Okay, I don't know. One thousand or one thousand or one thousand. We just enjoy our death.
Alam niyo naman yun, Friday na chapter 1 to 3, presentation, data gathering, diba? It's very difficult. Plus, he has our commitment. Tami-tami niyo ginagawa, as he has said. So, dinalagyan ko siya, not because he's incompetent, but because he needs to be competent somewhere else. Because he has commitment. And future niya yun eh. Alam niyo yung thesis na yun? Yung final draft na kailangan niyo ipasa sa inyo ng survey. Diba? So, you know. So, I think that I have a great idea that I want to hear you guys next.
Okay. In the previous years, the SLIS SC, I, in previous years, the SLIS SC has been active in advocating LGBT rights as accepted by the annual Youth Pride March. What is your stance on LGBT issues? Okay. Okay. Uh, they need respect. They need acceptance. They need love. I know that I'm sorry on the channel, you already said how uh, you all will speak coming up on the internet about the view of the Bible and the original tradition. But we need to see the view of the Bible as a recipe. Because you know, what they need to do is to respect, they need to accept us as a Bible video. And I believe that as a church person by supporting you, as it's like to match, but as it's like to match, we believe that we can show them you know what I mean. Okay, for, for the next question, this is addressed to the Somali incumbent. So, why is the school in the incumbent to a vote? It's a lot of 30 seconds. So, for the incumbent, I don't know what you're about to say. It's a lot of people who are not going to be supposed to be here. And I don't know what you're about to say. Ayan. Ipaw may partner as the S when it comes in. Pero nag-volunteer ako sa yun tulad sa letter painting na sa kayo sa sa inyo na gobetos din. So yun yung mga nagawa ko para sa SLSS and then pinapapot din yung kami outside para sa mga tao na hindi aware about sa dating program natin. And then Ano yung tulak sa inyo? Tulak sa inyo ako kasi bago na experience siya bago na experience sa mga ng ng council bigger than the organization. So you must walk quite a wider page. And then must not have enough. Okay, thank you. People. Okay. Anyone can answer again? 30 seconds. How are you convinced to run under capitalism instead of running independently as an individual or, a, or under the other major political parties in the university? I was invited by Alianza to run as USC representative and I rejected them on the grounds of ito yung sinabi ko sa mga yan. The political climate of SLIS is unique, diba? Kapit kakaiba siya, hindi siya kapulad na sa ibang college. For example, most of your population are shipped with your cat's face. And you really need someone from inside there without any attachments to any political authority in order to enact projects and understand what they want. Kasi nga, you need your political environment and we can ally ourselves with them because it's really neat. Kailangan natin yung nandito pa rin sa loob. Alam nyo na kaya. Okay. So for the next question, anyone again, anyone of you can answer? 30 seconds. What questions will you pursue for the faculty? Again, what questions will you pursue for the faculty? No. What is you we have alighted? Like you, we would work with the LIS many times. And we have a lot of CDPs and interviews. So we would look for other libraries, public libraries, that are required of the CDPs and the students who can connect to LIS 71, other LIS 160, 164, and the diagrams that I think Thank you. 
kung ano tatanggapin niyo ba ang posisyon? Again, hindi na wala kayong kalaban at mas marami ang abstain votes kasi sa posisyon ng mga kung ano tatanggapin niyo ba ang posisyon? May clarification. Anong voters turn out? Last year? I mean, parang, kunyari, 100% voters turn out. Masawa kayo sa pas. Masawa kayo sa pas. Okay, 30 seconds each. Okay, thank you. I will still accept the position. Kasi, I will be still like a family pakita sa kanila. I will be still like a family pakita. And, ano eh, most of the people that are still like a family pakita. I don't know why I'm doing that. That's why I need to tell them kung sino ba talaga ako that I can, I am able to serve them for a year. Follow up there, right? So, I think, yes, kung nga nung sinabi mo ni Brian, I think kasi it's mostly because hindi nila 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 ako. So, I think to prove myself better, I think I need to have some of it. Para makita ko at the end na, ay, na, kaya, nagawa ko siya na kahit na at first hindi nila gusto. Ako naman, I guess sa lawan na position kaya mas marami yung upstate kasi you have to lead by example. So, pag mga hindi na ng tao, may tao sa SC, mas mahigay yung mga tao na participate sa ating list. For me, I'm not going to accept the position because This is the the meeting. The meeting is a chance for people to know who I am and uh, to know my personality. Then if they think that if I'm not qualified for that, then who am I to accept? Then who am I to accept that position? That's not meant for me. Okay, so um, I wouldn't accept right the position since parang ang gustos naman for the voters na hindi, hindi inaccept yung, or parang hindi tinignan yung voters, yung majority. So I think I wouldn't accept the position since yun nga, parang hindi mo pinansin yung community, yung decision ng community. I'll step up to the position kasi a segment of the population still believes in my ability. And I would like to help them, as well as those that did not help me. However, I am met with very fierce opposition. For example, may nagsulat na, ito yung reasons na kami ng state, na kaya na. And we should please step down, and I will still try to help the audience in my own way, if ever that happens. I'll still take a position, because number one, if the, the one reason, and the only reason that they are saying, is that they don't know us, They also, they, still, they also have an obligation to find out who are, who are running. It's their obligation as voters. And, I, and I'm also fulfilling my responsibility to the college by running for the, by taking the position because I really believe in accepting the responsibility. Okay, maraming maraming salamat sa mga nalasagot nila. At sa mga nagsan ng questions. So then, what you can try for the last part of this
um, what um, what do you think is your capability, or are you capable to rally these students who are actually not interested to listen to this MBA at all? Okay, give it by Right now, I'm going to tell you, Brian, nasa nila, kung yun sa akin yun, 
for for my collection, for my uh, for my character development. And lastly, well, I have uh, a mentor who will cover me and who will tell me, right? But in my your your commitment is last. Pay down on what you get. Pay down on what you Okay, I don't have to mention. Can you continue as students? You've been collected several times already by your leaders to board, including myself. And there are tendencies that you will answer and blame other people. Are you going to guarantee, as I said, as chair, that you will take your board and let me do that? That's, uh, I have taken that strong. And I have learned that it is, it is a practice of a bad leader. That's why, as a leader, I can only at least to say, "No matter how much you think you're the leader is always himself. But no matter success of the team, especially the community, the leader is always the team. And that's what I go with." We can only go where we go. Are there any more questions? Is it like sitting in a bottom right here? Shut up. May I tell you about it? So, given that the rest of you, except Brian, are you willing to cover for balance or efficiency? For everybody who's got some answers, if you're going to talk to you, you're going to talk to you. Vice Chair, Chair, U.S. Representative, Councilor. Those are, all, those are all just titles. We're all equal as leaders. We have the position of SLIS Council Members. And because of that equality, we can all step up for the deficiency of one of our OBs, if ever. And not just the deficiency. If need be, we can give punishment. We can give repercussions. Because we are all equal. We don't answer to Brian now. He's higher than us. We don't answer to Mia now. She's higher than us. We're all equals. We all have our respective roles. But then, as equals, we need to step up. We will do that. And I'm sure they agree with me. It's an assurance. It's a promise. Okay, so... So... We all have our reservations about each other. I, have, I personally have my reservations against Brian. But I also have my reservations against myself. Now, I talk on these six people to make up for my deficiencies. And of course, I'd be honored to build their deficiencies as well. Um, before we started running as catalysts, we, we assured ourselves, we talked about the positions who would take what positions who and when we agreed to it, we assured na, to ourselves that equal tayo, equal tayo na equal tayo lahat. Pag may mati, sabihin na lahat, i-coverin natin, i-coverin natin, isa po yung kinahan ng tulong, hanggang sumunod dapat ang lahat, walang gawala. So, I think that would be your turn. So, I think, uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think for me, sometimes, Kaya tayo na hindi natin kilalay ang ating sarili ito. So, sometimes, na namamalitan sa mga outside, sa outside environment natin kung sino ba talaga tayo. And I think, sila, in this, in this, in this party, I think, sila may hindi na lang kusing ako kung ano yung mga pagkukulang ko, ano yung kailangan ko ba kumilat. And I think, sila makakuna sa akin, most of all, kung ano, at kailangan ko yun. So, yeah, I think I'll be happy kung ano yung kailangan ko babaan sa sarili ito. Um, I 
Um, there's seven of us, and you don't, none of us are doing this alone. We're all doing this together.
So you need a leader to guide them. You need them. You need someone to force them to be free. You know, hope them. It's schizophrenia. But in accordance with that philosophy, we need to guide them. Siguro first with, siguro first with a bit of encouragement, incentives, coaching, authoritative speaking. But it's a good law. We just want you to realize it's it's good not just for you individually, but for the community itself. No more participate in these meetings. No, because you're seeing as a matter. Pero ang pinakamahalagang component ng SLIs, hindi yung student council. We're just the face of the college. Pero hindi siya lang kami. Kayo yung katawa. Kayo yung nagkakumusta. So, we want you to realize that. And if you have to resort to a bit of drastic methods, we will have to resort to a bit of drastic methods. So, in another day, in another for them, okay, in defense of everyone na nasa SD, okay, kina ko sa amin last year, ano ang gagawin namin to actively engage everyone, okay, kina. So, Sinigil namin kayo ng student fee. Alam niyo yan. Sinigil namin yung student fee. Forty pesos. Bumalik pa sa inyo? Bumalik. So, saan ka ba? Tama ba? Okay. So, as I always say, to be... What I said when we were elected as officials last year, last school year, is that the success of a student council is not dependent on the student council alone. Una sa lahat, kung hindi nag-direct sa kanila, tama? Hindi nila nilagay sa nila, tama ba ako? So, lahat ng projects nila, lahat ng gagawin nila, may parte kami doon. Kaya ang student council, kasi it's for the student, kung sa'yo na mag-aaral. So, kung wala kayong gagawin, at iaasa nila ng lahat sa student council, what's the sense of being the council of the students? Am I right? Am I right? Okay, ano sense ng mga projects pala na ito? Kung hindi nyo rin naman, so hindi rin naman natin pupuntahan. Guys, hindi, katulad nyo sa sabi ni Mr. Cicel, ang respect ay hindi ini-impose, ina-earn yan, and you guys should respect your council because you have elected them. Yan na. Yan na. I am equal with them because I can say what I want. 